Let's bake this pasta to a single metallic texture. Welcome to Digital Imposter. First, let's switch to shading. In Render Properties, make sure you are in Cycles. Let's create new node, image, texture. Press new, called metallic. Okay, I will choose 4K. If you have selected alpha, unselect alpha and press OK. Let's switch here to metallic. Now the trick is, the trick is because in bake type, as you can see, we can't find metallic. So what we can do, okay, so where we have metallic, okay, this is my metallic texture, this gold one, okay. So turn off the metallic, okay, and base color, turn off and switch to white. Okay, make it white. Okay, and where is the, this blue color, okay, the texture I have, it's not metallic, turn on the metallic. Why we do that? Because when we will bake using diffuse, okay, this color, blue color will be baked as a black, okay? And our metallic color, which we, before we switch to white color, it will be baked as a white. Because metallic texture is black and white. So this is what we need to do, okay? And then when we have sampling, okay, and render, you can switch to one sample, okay? Because it's white and black and white texture, so we don't need too much samples. One is enough, okay? And then remember, select cube, okay? Select your node and here we can switch to non-color data, of course, don't forget that, and press bake. After our metallic texture is baked, let's go to image editor, press here, image, and save as. And as you can see, the white color, it will represent the metallic, and black color will represent the normal texture you will use. If you like this video, please press the like button and also share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the notification ring bell. Also, if you want to learn how to bake texture from high poly model to low poly model, you can watch those two videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.